Hey, what's going on? We're going to do, um, right now we're going to be replacing, uh, wheel studs, um, on a 2007 Chevy Cobalt. <clears throat> if you ever have this problem where <clears throat> you got a wheel stud broke off right here. Let me see if you can see that. Yeah, that one is pretty broke, <clears throat> as you can see. Compared to the others, and it's all rusted up. So we're going to replace this one. Um. <clears throat> so this was uh, be a little bit more challenging than doing it on the rear. On the rear, um, rear drums, you just <clears throat> pound these with a hammer, knock them through the back. You use usually enough space behind it to where you can uh, get them off. For this right here, we're gonna have to take off the rotor um, to get to it. So, uh, first thing you gotta do, you got um, some 14 millimeters right back here on the back of the caliper. So, you got uh, 14 millimeters is your caliper, and you got a 14 right here. 14 right here and then these are 15s right here on the uh, on the back of the rotors 15 here and 15 right there all right so go ahead and knock these off right here Caliper bolts. Let's see. Go ahead and hang this up right here. A little bungee cord. that up out the way. Next thing you're gonna do, these are 15s right here. <clears throat> Put you down over here, maybe you can see a little bit better. But, uh, let's see. You got a 15 right here, and then you got another 15 right down here. So I'm going to bust those off. Ugh. Let me get you back a little bit so you can see what's going on. Gonna bust these 15s off right here. Right. right there. Another one right there. Alright, any <clears throat> whole <clears throat> brake assembly comes off. Alright, you can just pull off. You rotor now, it just slides right off. Alright, let's take a look at these. And wonder if we can pop them off right here. See if we can get this one off. Might be able to just tap them out from here. Alright, you're gonna need a hammer. Let's 
understood. Alright, next thing you'll need is a BFH. That's the one that's messed up. Tap it out. See if it'll come out. See if you can rotate it a little bit. Find a little better spot for it to come out. No. Maybe there's a spot on the back. Let's see. We might have to take off the hook. No. Here we go. Back out, huh? Okay. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to take off the uh, hub. We got one, two, three bolts holding that hub in there. Let's see what size they are. Look like. Let's see. Let's see if that is a 15. Okay, 15 millimeters. Alright, so it looks like uh, we're going to need to take off the hub, so uh, you got three 15 millimeters, one, two, there's a third one in the back, um, so we're going to have to go ahead and pop these off. And I'm wondering, let's check this out, do anything else make sure these look about the same yeah same size yep uh, make sure my uh, also gonna make sure that these screw on there right it's not bad uh, the inside of these need to be Thread it a little bit. Alright, let's go ahead and pop these off. See how hard that one's going to be. And what I'm doing is putting a little swivel head on it, along with a 15 at the end. Maybe I can get in there. Uh, it looks like I'm not. Well, maybe from the bottom I can. Nah, ain't gonna fit. Well, maybe like that. Okay. I'm coming behind. I just put a long uh, 15 millimeter on a swivel head and I came in behind the uh, in between the CV axle and the uh, uh, what I did for that I came in behind between the CV axle and the uh, sway bar end link so right here and I came in through here and accessed it like that um, this next one probably gonna have to put on a short a shorter tip 
with a <clears throat> with a 15 on it. Let's see if I can get to it like that. Put a wrench on this thing. Did I just grab the eighteen? Tired of shit now. Alright. I think I broke it loose. Okay. There she go. Fifteen. space now all right and we're gonna be replacing all of these studs so just do them like uh do is I'm gonna show you one at a time next thing you're gonna know uh, you're gonna need is uh this right here or well it's not really necessary but wheel stud installation tool and um, what you're gonna do is take any new studs like so go ahead and put it in there side doesn't want to go in that well. So Got options right now. We can just grind down a little bit. It's not that far off. Just grind down a little bit right here on the edge with a uh, grinding wheel and uh, see how that works. Alright, what I just did is uh, I grinded it down a little bit with a grinding wheel so I can get it in there. Uh, give me a little bit, a little more space. is getting them away. There it goes. Alright, once you got that on there, let's see, find you a good stud. A 
All right. All you got to do is take your wheel stud installation tool. You got one right here. It's not really necessary, but makes the job a little bit easier. You just slide it on there. You got this grooved edge, which <clears throat> grooved edge, your, your nut should fit in there. So you put that on there like that. Just kind of thread it on a little bit. Get your impact. You might have to knock it through a little bit. Okay. You might have to kind of tap it through a little bit. What you do is either hold it or tap it through a little bit with a hammer. But once you got it through, once you got it through a little bit, um, the threads will start catching in here, and uh, it, it'll just you'll be able to impact it all the way. Uh, but that's basically it, then. Take it back off. Bam, you got your new stud. So that's all it is. Make sure you got a good lug that's not uh, tore up or that needs to be rethreaded. Uh, but that's it. And uh, installation is uh, basically just, you know, just tighten up all your bolts. Just put your bolts back in here. Put your calipers in. Um, but that's how you do it, though. So, um, <clears throat> but that's how you, um, you put studs on the front if it has a hub assembly. Uh, it's a little bit more difficult than doing them on the rear. So it is to it though. <clears throat> but anyways, um, Hope you enjoyed watching. Um, hope that was helpful to you. And uh, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Alright, peace.